My name is Dr. Jane Belmore, and I'm proud to be leading this district as interim superintendent for the 2019-20 school year. We want our school communities to be places where absolutely every student is treated the way we would want our own children to be treated. We recognize that every family wants their child treated this way. We want our schools to be places where every student feels a true sense of belonging, where their history, identity, and worth is fully recognized. We want our schools to be places where every student's true potential and brilliance is invested in and celebrated. To do this, we know that we must recognize that race matters. Understanding our own identities and what that means in a school community matters. Understanding our students' identities and what that means for them in our school community matters. To do this, we also know that history matters. Deeply understanding how history has impacted our students, their families, and ourselves. Understanding our connectedness, our roots, and our relationships. We are all interconnected. When we talk about our schools being safe and welcoming learning environments, we know that our interconnectedness as human beings is most important. We believe that the safest schools are those that foster a climate of support, support and respect, and that they instill a sense of community and belonging. Safe schools also happen when we invest in preventing and preparing in the event of an emergency. And here, our focus needs to be on our human actions. This includes training and professional development on important concepts and skills. We are proud of the fact that by the end of Welcome Back, all of our full-time school staff who work with students will be trained in trauma-informed practices and in mandatory reporting of child abuse or neglect, as well as mandatory reporting of threats of school violence. These are incredibly important trainings, and we are proud of the work we've done. We've also strengthened our partnerships with neighboring school districts, the Wisconsin Department of Justice, Dane County Emergency Management Systems, Madison Police and Fire, to name a few partners in this work. These and others, like MTI, have helped us define and refine our training for staff and students on our emergency procedures. A large part of this work is the incorporation of the standard response protocol into our procedures. Developed by the I Love You Guys Foundation, together with emergency management experts, the standard response protocol gives schools, organizations, businesses, first responders, and law enforcement across the country a common vocabulary, a common training, and common expectations during a crisis. Over the summer, our district safety and security team re-engineered our emergency procedures flip chart to reflect the updates. We also made it clearer, cleaner, and easier to reference and understand at a glance. We also created a digital version at mmsd.org slash be safe. Staff are able to pin the page to the home screen of their phones so they can reference it quickly at any time from anywhere. Posters and family handouts explaining the standard response protocol and the drills that schools do throughout the year to practice emergency procedures are arriving in schools and homes. Students will be trained in the standard response protocol through an age-appropriate lessons throughout September and October. We are also building out a more useful version of our district safety website at mmsd.org safety, where all of our materials are available to the public, including our comprehensive district safety plan. In the world of school safety, there is a phrase that's commonly heard, be prepared for the unthinkable. While our schools and communities are generally very safe, we know we must be prepared for the unthinkable. Our students and our staff depend on it. Our drills, our school safety teams, our district critical response team, our active supervision plans are all important parts of this. Building infrastructure and technology are important components as well. This school year, we are excited about some updates and upgrades to our systems and our infrastructure. These include electronic key card access for all classrooms, doors that lock automatically when closed, 
450 additional surveillance cameras, particularly in outdoor areas, an updated public address system, and a new voice over internet protocol phone system that comes with a powerful suite of emergency notification tools. All of this is important work and it is work that will continue throughout the school year. All MMSD staff are responsible for student safety. As we kick off the new school year and welcome students back to school, I am reminded of a quote by the late Toni Morrison. When a child walks in the room, your child or anybody else's child, do your eyes light up? That's what they're looking for. We believe in your child's brilliance, and we are committed to nurturing the minds and hearts of all of our students.